Hello everyone, Christopher here with McWayne Science Center, and welcome to SciSparks. What if I told you you've been boiling water wrong your entire life? Would you believe me? Stick around and find out. I want to show you something cool, but to do it, I'll need something hot. This water, 160 degrees to be exact, and that temperature is notable because it happens to be 72 degrees below water's boiling point. In other words, it's hot, but it's not boiling hot. Or is it? I'm going to draw a little bit of this not boiling water into my syringe, then seal it with this balloon. There, airtight. So that when I draw back the plunger, look at that our water starts to boil. Without adding even a single extra degree of heat, we got the water to boil. But how is that even possible? To understand, remember that water, like everything, is made up of molecules that are always in motion. Here at room temperature, air pressure squeezes on our water, preventing even the fastest water molecule from escaping. So, we could raise the temperature. <sighs> That's why water boils on the stove. But we could also lower the air pressure, allowing our slower molecules to escape, allowing our cooler water to boil. That's what happened in our syringe. And look, it's what's happening in my vacuum chamber. With little to no resistance from air pressure, this water boils at room temperature. And get this, because the fastest molecules are leaving the water, the molecules in the water are getting, on average, slower. Meaning, by boiling, the water is getting colder. And this works with other liquids too, even liquids that are already cold, like liquid nitrogen. But what happens when you get a liquid as cold as liquid nitrogen even colder? Something surprising. See that? That's frozen liquid nitrogen, solid nitrogen. Turns out, the difference between nitrogen's boiling point and its freezing point is only 25 degrees. A few seconds in the vacuum chamber and it's frozen solid. That is, until the air pressure returns. Okay, so liquids boil in a vacuum. Does that mean anything for you or me? Well, surprisingly, yes. If you live at higher altitudes, that means your water boils at a lower temperature, and that can lengthen cooking times. So the next time you're in the mood for some mountaintop macaroni, better pop a squat, because you'll be there a while. In the meantime, if you enjoyed today's episode, let us know by leaving us a like. And don't forget to subscribe to see more like it. We'll see you next time.